Hey everyone, thanks for joining in today. We wrapped up our series in Nehemiah on Sunday, and while our series may be over, the lessons we take from it continue on. As we've gathered together over the past 10 weeks, there are things we carry into the weeks ahead, not the least of them being a commitment to God's work in our world. That's one of the biggest things that stood out to me during our time in Nehemiah. He was committed to what God wanted to do in him and in his people, so much so that he not only carried on when opposition and problems stood in the way, but he risked his own life. Time and time again, Nehemiah showed where his allegiance ultimately was in the purposes and work of God. That's what he was committed to, and I want that to be our commitment in these days as well. My hope is that time and time again, for each of us, that we would find ourselves stepping into more of what God has. Nehemiah could have continued to grieve from afar, but he offered himself to the purposes of God, and as a result, both the wall and God's people began to be rebuilt. But it took Nehemiah getting in gear. It took his ongoing commitment to see this through, and it'll take ours as well. Someone once called this long obedience in the same direction. That's commitment, to be so devoted to the cause of God that we'll face anything and everything to see our part in it through. And Nehemiah is a great example of that for us. And he wasn't just committed, he was dependent. We've seen throughout our series that Nehemiah prayed constantly. He sought God's direction and hand through it all. As we leave this series, let's remember these lessons. Let's put a stake in the ground today and step into these next days as committed, dependent people. People after God's purposes in our world who are a part of his work. God's building something and I wanna be increasingly committed to it, dependent on him. And I want that for you as well. As we head into this next series, keep this and the other lessons you've learned from our time together with you. Those truths will continue to serve us well as we step toward our own so the wall was finished moments. Moments made for God's glory and our joy.